Hey guys, so in my last video we talked about liquid layouts, which are basically a rule-based way of resizing layouts. Now, InDesign has made some big changes since then. Uh, so liquid layouts still exist, obviously, I just opened it there. Um, however, InDesign has really expanded on its adjust layout feature, and this feature is extremely easy to use. Um, so there's a few ways to get there. One of the easiest and quickest ways is just to go to File, Adjust Layout. You could also get there by going through Document Setup and then clicking on Adjust Layout here. Now, in our Adjust Layout panel, we have all the tools we need to quickly resize our uh, documents depending on what our needs may be. So in this example, I'm working with a standard letter-sized page. I can check that by clicking on my page tool over here on the left hand side and then clicking on the page and then it'll show me right up here in the control panel what that size is. So it's eight and a half by 11 letter sized. Now what I want to do is I pulled up these specs from a magazine kit from Food Network magazine and I want to go ahead and create a half page ad based on this full page ad. Now to do that, I'm first gonna go ahead and find the ad size I'm looking for. So I wanna do a half page vertical. So for half page vertical, I can see a few different specs over to the right side of it. So one of these is the bleed. Now, as you know, in printing, uh, bleed is the printing that goes beyond the edge of where it will be trimmed. So that way the printer just has a little extra wiggle room um, just in case the paper might move or there might be some sort of uh, inconsistency during the print job. So in this image here, for example, you could see that um, we have our page here and then that red bleed line going slightly outside of it. So that way our printer has that extra space to work with. So that's basically what size our half page ad would be with the bleed. And so industry standard there is 0.125. Now trim, trim is more like our actual page size. So once our printer goes and cuts this down, that ad would be the size of the trim specs. So then to the right of that, you'll find our live area, non-bleed. So this is basically our safe zone. So we wanna try to make sure that we don't have um, text or anything outside of that safe area, or it's going to be at risk for getting cut off. So now that we know uh, essentially what each of these specs mean. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take this full page ad and convert it to that half page. Now, to start off, I'm actually just going to duplicate the page that I have here. So now that I have my second page, it is automatically set to that eight and a half by 11, but I'm going to resize it to that trim size. Okay, so now that we kind of know what these specs are, um, we're gonna go ahead and actually resize this page to meet those half page specs. Now to do that, like I mentioned before, we're just going to go to File, Adjust Layout. And from here, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and enter our new width. So we're going by the half page vertical. We wanna look at the trim size, which again is the actual size it's going to be cut down to. And that is 4.125 by 10.875. And you know, general rule of thumb in design typically width is always listed first. Okay, so now I've got that trim size in there. Now, this is kind of personal preference, but I like to use my margins uh, as reference points for that safe zone, um, at least when I'm working on advertisements. So I'm actually going to uncheck this because I don't want to auto adjust them. I want to manually go ahead and create those margins. So now we got to do a little bit of math here. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, take our width here, 4.125 minus the width of our live area. So that is 3.625. Okay, so it's half an inch difference. So that means 0.25 on each side, right? Because it's 0.5 total, so 0 0.25, 0 0.25 would give us that uh, half an inch. 
So I'm going to go up here now and just make these 0.5 all the way around. Now I could go ahead and do the same thing for the height, um, but I already can see there that that's also half an inch. But again, if you weren't sure, breaking out the calculator is always a good way to double check. Now for bleed, um, this is already kind of too large of a bleed. I can see that here, but what we're going to do is we're going to, again, just break out the calculators just in case to go ahead and double check what our bleed should be. Now, to find out what the difference is between our trim and the bleed, again, we're just gonna open up our calculator here. We're gonna do that same exact thing. Um, so I'm just gonna take, except I'm gonna start with bleed, and take that measurement, 4.375, minus the trim, which is 4.125 and 0.25. So again, half of 0.25 is 0.125. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that into here. So now we have our correct trim set up. We have what our safe area is. Again, I'm just using our margins for reference there. And then we have what our um, document would look like with the bleed. Now, when I'm resizing this, um, I don't remember by default if this is checked or not, but I do want to go ahead and adjust the font size. If I don't do that, then a lot of times it's going to scale down these text frames and we're going to have a lot of overset text. So it just takes a lot more time to go through and resize all that manually. Um, so I am going to go ahead and allow it to adjust the size for me. Now you could also set font limits. So you probably don't want your, your font size to be below six point. Um, if that's the case, you can go ahead and check it off here. Otherwise, you can just kind of go through it manually and make sure that your text didn't get scaled down too low. Now, this I'm going to make sure to include, so if I did have anything locked on this page, it's also going to be adjusted along with the rest of the items. Okay, so once everything looks good here, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then there we have it. It went ahead and automatically scaled everything for me. Okay, so we have it resized here, and now we can go back through and we can kind of customize this a bit further because even though it makes it pretty easy for us, it still may not be the best solution. Um, you know, for example, I might want this image to be a little more prominent. Maybe I want to expand the size of my headline a little bit. Um, you still have to kind of go in and just tweak a few things, but Overall, it makes the process a lot quicker and easier. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, shoot me an email at garrytygraphics at gmail.com.